Oh, I ain't done with you. I ain't done with you by a long shot, buddy. Welcome back, YouTubers, Gunners, and subscribers. The stuff's here. The goodies are here. I told you I was going to order everything brand new OEM. How's everyone doing? I wish I can vlog every day. I wish I can be in front of your face. Pause. But again, I just do what I can, okay? And uh, what I'm doing today is kicking ass and taking names. Um, plan is to wrinkle black a few things. Because I want to do this contrast of silver and black. So, I don't know, I don't know what's going on either. This stuff's hard to come by, man. I had to wait a week for this from Amazon. And they didn't have it at AutoZone. So, wrinkle black paint. Expensive, too. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. want to thank Daryl. My boy Daryl with the EP3. Uh, he sent over some, uh, some paper towels and simple green. He gave them to me the other day. Thank you so much. I know a couple of people sent some stuff to the P.O. Box. Thank you so much in advance. I'm actually going to pick up everything in the P.O. Box today. Um, I, I love and appreciate you guys for the support. I know I've taught a lot of you um, how to basically work on cars, how to believe in yourself, how to gain confidence. And uh, I guess this is the way you're paying me back. So let me prep a couple of things. Let me um, start sanding down the base of this shifter mech. Because we are going to change a few things. I am sharing part numbers, so get ready to screenshot. This is basically everything you really need to have your transmission looking mint. Now, you may not want to get a, a holder. Like, you know, this was like 20-something bucks. Cable holders. Part number. You may just want to paint yours. Scuff yours down. But I figured, hey, man, like 21 bucks from... And, um, maybe slow down. Where do I get all my OEM stuff? AcuraPartsNow.com. They are not a sponsor. I pay full price. I go on the website. I don't know anyone that works there. I use AcuraPartsNow.com and I use HondaPartsNow.com. If you two weasels see this video, send your boy a coupon code. I've been promoting you for like two years now. Let's start gunning. All right, now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. All right. All right, guys. Yep, all right. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. Okay, boys. You got something to say for it? Yeah. Hi. So, guys, let's just figure out exactly what it is that I purchased, all right? So. I've got all the 12 mils that go around the casing. Part number alert! So you're going to need about, I believe it's 15 of these. Actually, when you go on the website, it tells you how many are required for the job that you're looking for. So I've got all the 12s brand new that are going to go around the casing. Now, you see how this one is longer? Pause. There's actually two of them. And those are, come on, we're out of you. Of course, right here, these two. Part number alert! So the two longer ones, pause, one goes here and one goes on the opposite side. All right, we got that completed, right? So I ended up getting this drain plug here with the washer. Let me give you the part number. This thing was cheap, I think it was like three bucks. Part number for the drain washer if you want to clean yours up right and then this doesn't have a part number but it'll tell you exactly what's required with this part number you need that aluminum washer um, I ordered a bunch of extra 14 mils these are great to have in the garage you could use them everywhere traction bar you could use them for rear suspension you could use them on the transmission so these are 14 mils part numbers here <laughs> Part numbers here. Just want to help. Again, let me show you how these look. Nice. Clean. Again, you could use these in different spots on the chassis. But it's great to have. I think these were like a dollar oh three each. I got ten of them. Right? You got your cable stays. 
part number. Gotcha. Obviously, I've showed you guys this. You got your fork um, spring. These guys for your K-Series fork. And then remember those three um, detain uh, bolts? There they go right there. And then also, this is the washers for them. So it uses a weird washer. It's much softer material. And I think these have a torque of somewhere between 10 and 20 pounds. I forget. I'll Google it before I actually install it. So these washers, you could just have extra. I'm going to use three. I'll have seven left over. And then we've got axle seals. You know, both sides are different. One, one side of the housing is bigger than the other. Pause. So that's one side. Axle seal. This is the other side. Axle seal. Got it. Um, weighted shift arm, weighted shifted arm, whatever you want to call it. Arm. These always tend to bend when you shift hard. Guys, pause. Uh, really, really important information. I know you guys value my information and value my suggestions. I'm going to give you a great suggestion. If you want your K-Series transmission to last longer, you should change this at least once a year. If you're not, if you're power shifting a lot, and every chance you can get, you're beating on your car, you need to change this every maybe six months. We used to change these after three passes at the track. This would actually bend. So, change these once a year. Mandatory. And then what do we got in here? Oh, just more 12s. More 12s for the casing. All right, so I shared part numbers. Let me start prepping this guy to get painted. I also sanded down a couple of other things here. I had an extra spare one. I might end up just using this one. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, clean it up, and then I can just leave that one in the bag as an emergency. But I uh, primered this stuff here over the weekend. Gonna paint that wrinkle black, so it's gonna be, you know, OEM, wrinkle black, nice clean look. I'll clean up everything else. It's gonna look great, be right back. I should have vlogged tearing it down. It's not that hard either. Um, I'll probably just vlog with the table, it facing me, take my time and show you guys how to reassemble it. Basically, you'll do the opposite to deassemble. So you got that pin there for the reverse lockout. That rod goes through here. That pin holds it into that groove. And this goes in between here and faces down. But I took the reverse lock out here, out. I'm gonna start scuffing this base, scuffing that, scuffing the side of this arm. I'm gonna probably throw that one out or keep it as a spare because it was in good shape. It's actually not crooked, it's pretty straight. You'll actually see them kind of tilted, you know, one way to the next. And that's how you know that your shifting is getting hard and pause and something's going to mess up on your transmission. But these are it's such a cheap way to preserve your transmission by just buying one of these brand new right there. Good morning. Buen dia. Buen dia. Good morning. My man. <laughs> All right. So 40 uh, got here a few minutes ago. I was prepping this stuff here. Check out this tape work, guys. All right? Take your time. Do it clean. All right? All right. So these three are going to get primer at first. I don't want to paint outside because the Porsche is there, and I'm not trying to get overspray on that thing. So I made a little paint booth here with these uh, USPS boxes. I'll primer these first, right? You take a caca? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> my man. And then we'll get, we'll also put these on when it's time to paint the wrinkle black. So, um, I'm going to paint this uh, solenoid too. It was rusted up. I scuffed that down. That's going to go trim black. I taped the cover as best as I could. Taped the back end. This is 40. Not bad. So, we're going to put everything here. All right. We're going to start with some primer first, figure out which way to sit it, maybe start there like that, separate them a little bit, got a little paint booth here boys, hey 40 we make it happen, we make it happen baby, um, alright so that 
wrinkle black, that wrinkle black, that wrinkle black. The rest of this stuff, uh, wrinkle black. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything here. Hmm. Not using that. Going to use a fresh arm. One of those. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to primer. Be right back. Okay, so cleaned everything with acetone just to make sure we got no grease using the heat gun here. I'm just going to try to climb this metal up to some kind of temp. It's not that cold in here. If I had to guess, it's in the mid 50s right now but again just trying to help this thing get painted a little bit easier so adding a little heat not too much get some primer on it Okay, I am ready for paint. So two coats on this stuff here. This stuff had about two or three coats uh, prepped at earlier, well, late last week. And I'm ready for wrinkle black. So just gonna give it a simple coat here. Let's do it together, pause. Pause on this motion, pause. All right, let's go here first. Let's just, again, just touch it with paint. We're not drenching it on the first coat. That's it. We're not drenching it. Just let it touch. Boy, this box came in handy. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. That's it. That's it. That's the first coat. We'll leave it like that, and then when I turn everything around after it's dry, I'll do the other side, and we're good to go. But I can't wait to see how this wrinkle stuff looks on here. This contrast is going to look great on this transmission. And I clean this table up. We're going to assemble it together right here. It's starting to wrinkle. Give it a little bit more heat. Help it dry up. This is on uh, about three coats. Look how good that looks, man. Wow. Holy smokies. Okay, so I'm not touching these three, pause. I'm gonna attack these three with some heat. Start to get them a wrinkle, give them a few more coats. Should be almost done. You ever heard that expression, watching paint dry? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, here's the, we're, we're, yeah, we're going to put that on the table, Forty. All right, so I let some of that, I let the, uh, those parts that I painted sit outside in the sun. So I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes and not do nothing. I'm going to, me and Forty are going to put the transmission on the table and then we can start putting in the OEM hardware at least. Start prepping the trans for that shifter mechanism. So, um, yeah, that's the task. Be right back. This should be on there right yep that's it okay so i'm going to change these seals right so i'm going to take out all my stuffings pause right and then i'm going to turn it around and it's much easier to turn around and honestly you don't want to scratch and scuff stuff so i'll just turn it on the wood pause and then i'll be able to get to like you know taking off this tape well you can do it right here stuffed it with a microfiber 40 Stop taking doodos, man. No doodos. <laughs> no doodos, bro. Yes, sir. Yep, clean a little bit more. All right, so I know I'm using brand new bolts, and if that socket is dirty, look, mm -hmm. all of that would have went on there. So what I did was 
sprayed a little glass cleaner in there and now Forty's sticking a rag into the socket and he's just simply rotating it. I like to throw my uh, sockets in the tumbler every, uh, every few months. So watch this. See how Not much good, cleaner huh? now we won't get. You won't get a dirty stain. Everything counts, guys. I mean, like I said, just small, simple things. First bolt going on. Let's see. You want to clean it, number three? Si, el día también. So, okay, a little rough, honestly. So we'll thread all of those uh, 12 mils in. Again, here's the part number. These are all the 12s for this side, the longer ones. Paws are two different ones, and I shared that part number already. So... Let me enjoy myself. We're going to put on some music and then I'm just going to jam out with putting these bolts in. Be right back. Okay, some updates. All three bolted up. New seal is on. New drain plug with washer is on. All the bolts are in. Left these two loose because we have that black uh, bl bracket that goes there. I should have took the stud out earlier. Remember I painted everything with the stud on left that little mark but I'll be able to get some uh, like a pick and clean all that up but look how we're looking so far not bad right so all the bolts are tightened up I didn't do any torque specs honestly I just tightened them by hand gave a little bit of extra snug you don't gotta be a superhero with this stuff um what else that's it for right now so just waiting for that stuff to dry so we can put together the uh, shifter mechanism and then clean this up here with some scuff silicone this this and should almost be ready put the nice brat uh, guys listen most of you viewers are gonna are gonna basically leave like right after about here I promise you you don't want to miss the end of this video if it's not awesome if it's not great if it's clickbait unsubscribe right now and leave me a nasty message I guarantee you don't want to miss the end of this video now it should be exciting huge shout out to the subscribers my brother Vic just dropped it off in the P.O. box we've got um, paper towels he sent three um, Honda oil filters and we've got hand cleaner again thank you so much brother I appreciate you I wish I could shout your IG out right now, but I'm doing like 9 million things and I don't remember it. So I apologize. But yeah, love, man. I appreciate you guys. Okay, guys, that contrast is starting to go in here. There it is. Look how clean that looks. With the wrinkle and the fresh bolt. Man, thank God. Thank God we cleaned those. I know you don't understand me, but thank... Okay. Thank God we, um, 40, we cleaned that socket because this would have came out disgusting if we would have started tightening up stuff. Um, still going to give it a... Hockey. No, yeah, leave that. That's, leave that's, it yeah, leave it right there. We're still waiting for that stuff to dry. Put the shift mech. Almost done. Try to keep all this together. And then just pray that it lines up. <laughs> This is a bit of a nightmare, like I said. Count me out. What a pain in the ass, 40, right? Pain in the culo. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. I hate change. I hate doing this shit. I'm sorry if I let you guys down, man. It's very tedious. It's very hard to explain. I kind of botched it here. I'll touch all that up with some, uh, maybe like a Q-tip or something. But all right, um, need to add my dowels. Gonna clean this surface, and we're almost done. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. That's a wrap for this transmission, folks. How's that look? So I'm thinking about putting it on the ground. Back on. No, you know what? It looks fine right here. Give you guys some detail. Trim black, silver, OEM, uh, bolts. I think it came out great. I'm going to keep this in the stash. Shift selectors in. Um, waiting for a 14 for the back of reverse. That is on back order, so I'm waiting for that. 
I'm also not going to put the stay on quite yet. I'm just going to leave it like this for right now. But this is completely finished. Both seals are on. I have a magnetic drain plug I'm putting in here. Uh, speed sensors on. Uh, shifter mech. Shifts great. Smooth. Look how free that spins. Got myself a nice transmission here, folks. So yeah, basically $700 transmission. A little bit of uh, about 200 and something bucks in hardware, which again, you I probably didn't need to buy this or the weighted arm, you know, could have saved a little bit more money. But now this almost looks like a anywhere between 13 and $1,500 transmission. There's no way you're going to tell me I can't get 1500 bucks with this transmission. No, I did all the hard work. It's already done. Just do your thing and put it on. But, um, hell yeah, let me clean up real quick and let me give you guys the surprise. Pause. Be right back. Baby, before the, uh, before the surprise, we owe this transmission some better lighting. That was not a good spot for it. some better lighting. Sorry guys. Surprise time. <laughs> 